can't believe I'm going stag. Dude, so what happened to you anyway with Rachel? I just wanted Shelly back. Shelly? She was a girl I just started dating. Actually, we uh, never really got started. She blew you off, huh? I just felt so not good enough, you know? Like I wasn't good enough to make her stay. I wasn't enough to amaze her. I just wanted to amaze her. Bitches. And then Rachel, she made me feel special. And there's such a power in that, especially with a girl that looks like Rachel. And even though I kind of knew we were a lie, it was like a pain reliever. I mean, the pain was still there, but I didn't feel it for a while. So what happened? Well, we flew to New Orleans and we rented a car and we just started driving. And Rachel was telling me how I was good enough, how I was dangerous. And then one night, as this amazing sun was setting, she called me worthy. Okay, oh, fine, fine, Mal, but tell me, what about the sex? So when we get to this hotel and we're in the bar, she kind of starts flirting with this guy, and then she says something. What'd she say? She told him he was worthy. Hearing her say it to someone else, I knew that there would always be a someone else with her. Because that's who she is. Anyway, I went for a walk and I ended up on the town square. You know where you guys were today? I started thinking about how much I was throwing away. How tanking my finals would crush my parents and how I'm not that guy. I'm not dangerous. I'm Marvin McFadden. I'm solid. I'm dependable. That's who I am. Tell me you at least slept with her. You suck, man. Where is she? I don't know. I called her and told her I was going home, and when I got back to the room, she was gone. This picture of us was all she left behind. I could have loved the boy in this picture. I hate you, Mouth. You know that? You sure you didn't sleep with her before your lame-ass epiphany? Nope. But I did see her naked. You really suck, man. You know that? <laughs>